Carbon and hydrogen are the basic of organic chemistry. This is the architecture of organic chemistry. In this video, I'm going to discuss about the introduction to organic chemistry. Here, this video is very much important to learn organic chemistry detail. Introduction to organic chemistry, the main points are formula of organic compounds, 3D diagram of organic compounds, functional group of organic compounds, naming of organic compounds, isomerism, and uh, there are many basic points. Structural formula. Chain structural, display structural, and, and skeletal structural. Chain structural. Chain structural of hexane and their structure is given hexane to decane by structures. Their compact structures are given then an actual number of carbon and hydrogen and their bonding present here, all are alkanes. Display structural formula. Display structural formula just to show the bonds. Actual number of carbon and hydrogen and their bonds are given. This is butane. So here uh, four carbons and the three hydrogens are shown skeletal formula the main points of skeletal formula are only the bonds functional groups quickly and easily represents molecule the diagram shown b2 1 and b2 in these two are skeletal formula um, first case first case number one uh, carbon there is a double bond and for the second one number two carbon there is a double bond Drawing skeletal structure, please watch the video clip to uh, make it easy or understand easily uh, how to draw the skeletal form. Number one has four carbon, but one C3 is the band, so we have to uh, dot in the four one, two, three, one, two, three. The main and another one is the branch, so this is another one. So this is the main one. This is skeletal formula, there is no CH. Skeletal group 2, this has a fractional group, so total in the main chain 4 carbon, so 1, 2, 3, and 4. Total I'm giving here 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, fractional group that is in, okay, this is the skeletal formula. Number 3, it has 1, 2, 3, 3 carbons, and that is a branch set. A functional group at position 2, so I'm giving you the main 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3 points, 3 carbon, 3 points, and the end it says 3, and that is the batch here, it's the half of this one, so functional group is always. I have told already the functional group will be present and the bonds will be present. The number 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, main chain 4 carbon, 1, 2, 3, and 4. At position 2, 1, 2, 2, there is a in functional group, alkene functional group, and there is a branch here at position 2, and another C is 3. The end, this is skeletal formula. Number 5, number 5, it has 1, 2, 3, 3 carbon, 3 carbon, so 3 point, okay, and there is a functional group here at position 2. And the position one is bromine. And bromine will be present here because this is here, the branch and the it is not CH. And the other one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, four carbon, four carbon, but position two there is a ketone functional group and position one alcohol functional group. Okay. 3D arrangement of organic molecules for these three main points are normal line viewer can see easily, broken line viewer cannot see, waste step near to viewer. These three lines we can show the structural formula. The example given here for uh, methane, methane the four hydrogen with carbon. So these three lines are given here in bond angle one right into the tetrahedral shape, and also the stick diagram given here to make it easy for the candidates. Functional group. Functional group is the main part of organic compound. By observing functional group, we can detect what kind of reactions a chemical compound can give. So here, uh, lots of functional groups are given from carboxylic acid to alkyl halide. The priority increases from up to down. Carboxylic acid is the highest priority here. Nitrile group has the higher priority than aldehyde. Ketone has the higher priority than alcohol. Amine has the higher priority uh, than alkene. So this is needed for reactions and multifunction reactions as well. 
Naming of organic molecules, this is the vital point actually. The main points for naming are IUPC method or systematic method, functional groups, number of carbon atom in the main chain, branches and the number and the position. Here we want to mention the naming of alkene, alkene, alcohol, alkene, carboxylic acid, alkyl, halide, nitrile, ester, amine and so on. Now naming of organic compound, uh, video, uh, some of the can, this is alkene, there is no functional group but there, there is a branch. The main chain, there is three carbons, so the branch is methyl, so at position 2, 1, 2, and uh, either side you can start, so this is uh, propane, the main name is the propane, but there is a branch here at position 2, so 2 methyl, 2 methyl propane. The second one, there is a branch, no, the second one, this is the functional group in alkene at position 2, 1, 2, or either side 1, 2, at 2 position, and uh, the main chain there are uh, 4 carbons, so this is uh, but 2 in. And the third one, alcohol functional group, and the main chain there are 3 carbon, so this is Propan 2 all, propanol 2. And the fourth one, it has a functional group alkene, and there is a branch at position 2. This is 2 number position, and the number 1, and then one C3 is the branch. And 2, 3, so 2, 3, 4, 2 methyl, 2 methyl, 2 methyl, this is but no space here. But two in number five, the alcohol functional group. This is multifunction uh, uh, functional organic compound. Bromine is the branch. Alcohol is the higher priority. Bromine at position one. This is two, and the last one is three. So one bromo, bromo, propan, propan two all. One bromo propon to all is the naming. And the sixth number, the functional group is ketone at position two. So this is uh, but butan uh, butan two on butan on two at position two. The functional group is ketone. The seventh one. It has two functional group alcohol and uh, ketone. Ketone has the higher priority so at position two and the fourth position there is a branch. So for hydroxy, for hydroxy, uh, butane two on. For hydroxy butane two on is the name. Uh, number eight alcohol functional group and the uh, Halalkin present here, halalkin at position 1, mm, 2, 3, the main chain, there are 3 carbons, so the 1 chloro, then chloro, propan, 2 all, propanol, propan, 2 all, and number 9, alcohol at the amine functional group, so alcohol has the high priority, so it is at carbon 1, 2, 3, so one amino, one amino, uh, propan two all is the name. The last one is the nitrile functional group. So the name is propan nitrile. Propan nitrile. Also, I have given a link of ebook which will be helpful for the candidate if you wish you want to download from this given link. There are also some points I want to discuss about uh, how to uh, how a chemical reactions occur for this. You have to know lots of terms like homolytic fission, heterolytic fission, nucleophile, electrophile, and so on. Now, two ways equivalent bond can make heterolytic fission and homolytic fission. Homolytic fission both atoms live with one electron from their pair and produce species are called free radicals. Example, you will like break chlorine molecules into two free radicals. Chlorine, chlorine, chlorophyll, and what? There is one pair electron here and making bond. So, in principle, you will like their broken. Equally, electrons are shared, so free radicals are produced. Heterolytic fission. Heterolytic fission unevenly, the bond is broken. Here, carbon 
chlorine bond chlorine is more electronegative chlorine is taking both of the electrons so uneven breaking of covalent bond the more electronegative atom takes both of the electrons so chlorine minus and c is plus are produced c plus is electrophile and the chloride ion is here nucleophile nucleophile nucleophiles are donor pair of electrons they are electron rich species they carry a negative or partially negative charge examples OH minus Cl minus Br minus they are negative ammonia is partially negative electrophile electron of pair of electrons they are electron deficient species they carry a positive or partially positive charge example bromonium ammonium and C is 3 plus isomers this is the most important point for organic chemistry actually isomers having same molecular formula different structural formula as well as they have different 3d arrangement so isomers are two types structural isomerism and stereo isomerism structural isomerism actually two dimensional isomerism it can be variation in position isomerism functional group isomerism and chain isomerism stereo isomerism Stereo isomerism the same molecular formula, the same structural formula, and but the stereo has been different. So stereo isomerism or three-dimensional isomerism are produced. There are two types: six strands of geometric and the optical isomerism. Now, position isomerism: propan one and propan two. These two have the same functional group OH, but the position of uh, OH is different. The first one position at one number carbon, and the second one position at two number carbon. So they are position isomerism now functional group isomerism functional group different but different structure of the same molecular formula c2a6o these two have two different structures one is ethanol another one is dimethyl ether so alcohol functional group and ether functional group so these two structures are called functional group isomerism of c2a6o chain isomerism the chain isomerism can be branched and unbranched so there is a uh, displayed formula of butane and methyl propen these two have the same molecular formula but the structure different due to the chain so this is chain isomerism now three strands isomerism or geometrical isomerism the main points of geometrical isomerism are restricted of rotation and free of rotation different groups with the free of rotation i have given here a structure carbon carbon double bond this is restricted of rotation another two bonds of carbon are free of rotation are connected with different groups but arrangement different so they are making three strands isomerism three strands isomerism i have given two examples of uh, one two dibromoethene one first case one is cis because the same site and the, the second one is trans because opposite side bromine bromine opposite side of hydrogen hydrogen opposite side it is it's to understand it is filling up all the points of cis isomerism carbon carbon double bond is restricted of rotation but another two bonds are but free of rotation and they have different group bromine and another one hydrogen optical isomerism optical isomerism is one type of stereo isomerism or 3d isomerism where the isomerism occur due to light in presence of light we get different isomers but this is not the normal light this is polarized light if you don't know the polarized light you have to study more about it. this polarized light is a light where the vibration occur in a single plane. so the main points of optical isomerism are they must have chiral center non superimposable mirror image mirror images are enantiomers i'm giving here one structure of, uh, ca of carbon for different groups um, and the carbon is the chiral center I am giving the example of amino acid. Amino acid have uh, two enantiomers of amino acid. The carbon has four different groups. So this is showing isomerism in presence of polarized light. Another example given here to different structures and their mirror image or enantiomers and they are non superimposable. The carbon is chiral. This is the main point. So chiral center calculation is the main point. We have to know how to find out the chiral center. So chiral center we can find from the skeletal formula I am giving here the work done. What, um, what example given here the chiral center two chiral centers are given the last one is not because two c is three group the end is actually c is three another worked example of chiral center finding given here six chiral centers are given here you can check with your understanding and then i'm giving you for your exercise you can check if you understand how many chiral centers in this molecule you can find for finding if you have any problem you can communicate or you can comment in catalyst education youtube or facebook Thank you very much for, for watching this video. If you get any benefit from this video, please share with your friends.